Good morning, and thank you, family, friends, and loved ones, and Walla Walla University faculty and staff for joining us in this beautiful class of 2015 today. I can't possibly convey the gratitude I have to you staff and the way you affected my life. But in an attempt to, I'm proud to say that the class of 2015 is partnering with Walla Walla in a major renovation that will stretch everywhere College Avenue touches the campus. Specifically for us, a completely redone, redesigned plaza way between Mesky and Village Hall. That's something worth talking about. <laughs> And to you, family and friends, we express our gratitude by graciously accepting, hopefully for the last time, your dollar bills. For we have arrived. At least that's what they keep telling us. We have arrived. Or have we? Do we know what it means to have arrived? What is it that we have arrived at? I'm afraid to tell you, my friends, that life from here on out for many of us will only get harder. We'll only have more pain and more struggle. So what have we arrived at? We're t told success, prosperity, a stable job that we've been studying for these last six years. A spouse, fame, power, bring happiness, right? Again, I'm afraid to tell you that with each of these blessings come 100 new ways for pain and a thousand new ways for temptation. If it hasn't already, at some point in the future, life will hit you and it'll hit you hard. All the success in the world can't prevent it from happening. I know many of you this very year, this school year, have experienced life and the pain of the passing of loved ones. So what have we arrived at? What do we do about this? Is it possible to remove ourselves, maybe from society? I suppose it is, but I fear the pain of separation, of aloneness would set in. So we could immerse ourselves in society, but of course, undoubtedly, the pain of relationship and the loss of relationships will occur. So I suppose this leaves us with one option. Accept life for what it is and make the best of it. If you were at church yesterday, this means bring a tambourine and use it. Play it. A very wise professor of mine, Dr. Nelson, used to say, Pain is weakness leaving the body, as he drank his Mountain Dew and handed back to our tests. <laughs> and even though we laugh at that, there's some truth to it, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. Pain is what reminds us we still have room to grow. Pain is what can bring us together, inspire people to rise above it, to be the motivation behind doing great things. Pain is life. And until we get to heaven, we will have pain. My prayer for you, class of 2015, is not that you will leave this holy campus of Walla Walla University and be blessed by every good thing, never having any struggle, never having any pain. My prayer for you is that you will leave this place with your head held high. With all the pain the world has to offer you laying ahead, the things we've learned from Walla Walla behind, and with the knowledge of who's at your side, my prayer is that you will look pain's face in the eye and smile. Smile because you know you're about to grow. Smile because you know you're about to become stronger. Smile because you know God's got you. What have we arrived at? We've arrived at success. Wealth for some, family, fame, or power for others. We've arrived at 100 new ways to feel pain, a thousand new ways to be tempted, but an infinite new way for God to work in your life. Thank you. Good morning, family, friends, and graduates. We're excited that we have this opportunity to celebrate the graduates' accomplishments this morning. But before we do, we want to morning with the senior class officers. Tyler James Robertson, President, Degree of Bachelor of Science in Engineering.
Patricia K. Curtis, Co-President, Portland Campus. Social Vice President, Degree of Bachelor of Science, Major in Health Science, Cum Laude, Christian Service Volunteer. Carsten Taylor Cook, Spiritual Vice President, Degree of Bachelor of Science,